So this week has been beyond eventful because something happened to me that was very much disgusting, very much confusing. My ex decided to message me. You're so beautiful. And this particular ex, we have not talked in a year, maybe a little over a year. Literally no contact, no nothing. I blocked him on everything. And this got me thinking about why do exes come back? Especially exes who have done you wrong in some way or broke up with you or, you know, separated themselves from you. I'm not an expert, not a relationship love guru, not a life coach, not a psychiatrist, but I'm just a real person. So I'm just gonna shed a little light on why I think exes come back into your life. Also stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna tell you guys what my ex said when he reached out to me and how it all went down. But first, if you wanna see why I think exes come back, just keep on watching. So the first guy is a guy who comes back because he thought he was cuter than he actually is. They start taking all of the positive feedback, all the compliments, all the things that you're saying to them to their head and start thinking that they're a 10 when they're really a four, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when people think that they're a 10, that's gonna drive them to approach life like a 10. I'm not saying I am pro the rating system and I do think that looks are completely, completely biased depending on who is looking, but let's just be real. Sometimes when people start to feel cute, they feel like they can do better than you. They feel like, look, you're holding me back. I'm sexy now. And then fast forward to them going out into the world and finding out that nobody wants them and the only person who thought they were cute was you. So then they come into your DMs talking about, hey, just seeing how you're doing, just checking in, when reality, they wanna get back with you because they realize that people don't find them as attractive. It's more of an ego thing. Now the next reason that an ex will come back into your life is similar to the first reason. It's pretty much about the grass not being as green as they thought it was. So they left you not just because they felt cute, but also because they truly felt like this next person was really gonna be their soulmate. You know, sometimes, People leave people because they have already met someone. Maybe they may not have cheated yet, but maybe they met them at you know, a party and they hit it off, they've been texting behind your back. And now they feel like, you know what? I'm ready to make the next move. And you are no longer in the picture because you are not um, as good as this other girl or boy that they've met. A lot of times people, especially after long relationships, they start thinking about like the 30% of you that they hate. You know, maybe you're kind of a nag. Maybe you are super, super busy all the time. They think about these little things that obviously they're gonna nitpick and find whatever they can to justify what they did and why they left you or why they've been cheating on you and why they're going for another person. They don't think about the fact that there's a whole other 70% of you that is great, that is unique, that is something that is perfect for them. And so they leave you to get with this new person who has the whole 30% you don't have. And then they realize, oh, there's more to a person than just that. The person that they try to get with may be a cheater themselves, maybe is someone that yells all the time, maybe someone who's abusive, maybe someone that they totally did not think they were. So now they're like, well, let me get to someone who actually was a good thing. Another situation where your ex may come back, they're just purely jealous of the success that you brought. Maybe in the last two years of you guys being separated, you have just become a complete boss biatch. You glowed up, you have an amazing career, or maybe you just have a lot of followers on social media. Sometimes that makes people feel like you're more important. So they may be drawn to message you. Maybe if you just physically glowed up, you know, maybe they felt like you weren't as attractive before and now for whatever reason, they feel like you were just astronomically beautiful and they want to get in contact with you. Now they could be reaching out to you because they're jealous, you know, maybe they feel like, oh, so you're just gonna leave me and go find a better job and try to support yourself. Okay, so that's what we doing now? We doing better in our lives? Okay, got it, bet. Or they could just be feeling insecure. They could be feeling insecure because, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Would I wanna wake up on Instagram and see that my ex has become the next Drake? 
Probably not. I wouldn't message them because I don't want my ex back, but it's hard to see your ex, you know, do way better than you, whether that be financially or, you know, socially. And so maybe they're seeing you in a different light and now they're more attracted to you than they were. Or again, it could also be them purely just being jealous. They don't like you. They won't want to be with you. They don't want to treat you any better than they did before, but they just purely want to bring down your joy. If you knew a person who had to constantly declare their power over you, maybe physically, maybe just emotionally, they're just aggressive. They always have to have you under their thumb. This is the person who wants to feel like you are obsessed with them again. Maybe they just want to talk to you because they feel like you should be chasing them. They don't want to reciprocate, but they just like you being involved again. You're always chasing them. You're constantly calling them nonstop. Once that goes away, that person may not have been thinking about you for a whole month. And then one day they look at their phone and they're like, hey, this person hasn't texted me this entire month. When they finally wake up and realize that you have not been contacting them, they're gonna feel like they lost something. They felt like they lose control. And some people who are controlling cannot lose control. When they feel like they are not in the power position, they're gonna flip out and that's what's gonna make them message you. Unfortunately, those people, like I said, are typically more aggressive, are typically more abusive, and so the way they reach out to you may not just be messaging you. It may be coming up to your house and may unfortunately be trying to get you back by any means necessary. The next reason your ex might have reached out to you after leaving you is because of sex. Sorry, but sometimes people are lonely and they want to feel physically attractive again. Sex and cuddling and all those things, those physical things could be something they're missing. Even though they could totally be dating another person and have no plans of leaving them, they still may want the warmth that you bring. Just because you're getting messages and you know they're with someone does not mean they're gonna leave that person. It just means that they want something from you. Maybe they're not physical, maybe their love language is not, you know, physical closeness. And so they're kind of missing being snuggled for no reason. They're missing, you know, having the type of sex that you guys had. You know, maybe you're just an acrobat. They may be reaching out to you just as a, a booty call. You're so much more than that. You are so much more than that. So again, ignore that text. So the last reason your ex may be reaching out to you is because they genuinely, genuinely miss you. They genuinely want to be with you. They realize they made a mistake and they have tried to grow and change. 100% of the time when our ex reaches out, we think this is what it means, but I think only 3% of the time is it actually what it means. Sometimes people feel like you're just whatever and they take it for granted and they start to see, oh, their mom is asking about you. Their friends are asking about you. You had a positive effect on their life. They're realizing, wow, I only do this, 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 and this because of them. You are someone that they should have never broken up with and they realize that you're someone that's special. Almost every single time a person reaches out to you, it's gonna be, I miss you, I love you, I never meant to hurt you. They're all gonna say that, except only some of them are gonna mean it. Sometimes it could work, I just think that you have to really reflect if you're gonna take this ex back and you're gonna take them up on it, first off, they really need to work for it. That's number one. And two, you need to make sure for you, are you going to be happier with them in your life? Really, really think about it. Are you really gonna be happier? Do you really need this person? I just think taking any ex back is a bad idea. I think that from my experience, from doing it tons and tons of times, they always seem to do the exact same thing that led to your breakup the first time. They say sorry and they fight for you, they fight for you, they fight for you to be back with them. And then you get back with them and it's literally, literally the exact same person. It's sometimes even worse. Sometimes it is better to give a new person a chance. It's up to you if you wanna go back with your ex, but all I say is, take it from me, I have never been happier. I was the one who got dumped, but anything he said after dumping me, I have not reached out. I've blocked him on everything, like I said, and I just tried to really move on with my life and become happier. I shots, don't unless the shoes. For me, the situation I was in, we always broke up, got back together, broke up, we got back together. So it wasn't like I just am so strong and I just never contacted him because I'm just that girl now. I have been back with him a million times. I've taken him back a million times, but that specific time, I just felt like I'm just not gonna do this anymore. Like that was really the last straw moment. So even though he was dumping me, he had no idea that I was kind of dumping him in a way. 
when I woke up the next morning, I was like, yeah, I'm never talking to him again. Now, little did I know, he wasn't even gonna message me until two months later. That still hurt because in my mind, I thought our relationship is so strong. We have been together still for two years, even though it was toxic, I would think that he would change his mind in a week. Two weeks. It doesn't take two months to realize you lost something if you really did genuinely want to get back with me. Two months go by, he reaches out to me and um, pretty much just saying happy holidays, you know, I hope you're all well, I'm sorry about what I did, I'm sorry about the things I said to you. To which I did respond. I said, I don't want to see you, I don't want to hang out with you, I'm done, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't want to do the ups and downs, I'm not taking you back, leave me alone. This was last year. Fast forward to like a week ago, it's been an entire, complete 365. The earth has been around in a circle 90 times. This man reaches out to me. I'm shocked, okay? I'm very much gobstopped, okay? I don't even know how to block someone on email, but apparently I should have because he messaged me. And then he said, would love to get in contact with you again, but if you don't wanna to reply to this, I totally understand. And I just wanna say thank you for everything. If you're gonna message your ex, it should be about why you and then broke up. I don't care what happened to you. If you're not gonna acknowledge everything that you put me through, I'm not even gonna think about responding. If you're trying to get your ex back, you need to acknowledge well, this is why I broke up with you. I'm sorry, I was wrong. I was this, I was that. Didn't get any of that. I didn't respond. Um, I'm not going to respond. I will never respond. Hopefully that was the end of it. I do not wanna read another email. I still don't know how to block someone on email. And I hope that these reasons I gave clear something up for you guys. So if this information helped you, make sure to like this video. And if you guys have any other reasons you think an ex might come back, please comment down below. And I also would love for you guys to just send me a DM if you are feeling particularly desperate or lonely or just broken without your ex because I know that feeling. I definitely would love to, you know, offer some help to you guys and also offer some hope because I am living proof that you can be in a toxic relationship that lasts two, three years and still come out on the other side healthy, happy, thriving. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have so many more videos planned and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.